Hello guys and welcome back to Earl Sports Bets. I'm Timothy Earl and today we're going to be breaking down this seven game NBA slate. Uh, we got four official bets for today so hopefully we can get some good value, um, some good games and make some money today. Because um, yesterday we had a lot of bad beats. Um, Rockets lost by 11 so that was close. Uh, Pistons lost by three. Hornets lost by nine, Blazers lost by nine. So all of them were pretty close. Could have easily have flopped the other way. Um, unfortunately, it was only a two and four day. We got wins from the Celtics and the Thunder. Um, but hey, you win some, you lose some. Hopefully, we can get back on that winning route today. If you guys are new to the channel, please leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. We're trying to get to 400 subscribers by the end of the month. And we are currently at, load phone, I think 390-something. Um, I'll wait for my phone to load. But uh, please subscribe if you are new. Like, share, do all that good stuff. Help us try to grow the channel. Um, yeah, 395 subscribers. So five away. So just do it. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the slate uh, we can start off with the Cleveland Cavaliers taking on the Philadelphia 76ers. Tobias Harris, Andre Drummond, Kevin Love, and Larry Nance are all out for today's game. Uh, we can get the Sixers minus 605, Cavs plus 465, 11 point spread on this one, over under of 222 and a half. Uh, I'm going to go and lean towards the under on this one. Uh, both teams are slow-paced teams, um, so I'm not really expecting much. More, both teams are more defensive teams than offensive teams, so going and doing that. Uh, in terms of betting, um, we're not really going to take a side for this one. There's not enough value on this one. Uh, we have the Sixers winning this game by 7.7 .7 points. So it would only be a 3.3 value play. We're going to grab the 3.6 and up for today. It allows us to get four solid plays. So uh, we're not going to be betting this one. But if we were, it would be uh, lean towards the Cleveland plus 11 in this game. Next up, we get the Minnesota Timberwolves taking on the Washington Wizards. Uh, Malik Beasley, I believe it's suspended right now. Uh, suspended 12 games um, because of some of his charges. Uh, D'Angelo Russell out for an extended time. Brian out. Ish Smith out. Bertans is questionable. Um, you can get the Wizards minus 190, plus 165 for the T Wolves. Four and a half points spread on this one. 237 and a half uh, for the over on the, in this one. I'm going over. Um, Obviously, all our over-unders are leans. We're not making them official bets. We're just giving an idea of where we think this game is going to go. So if you want to bet those, go ahead. Um, but we're personally not betting them. I just want to aim to where I think it's going to go. Um, and then in terms of betting this game, um, I will be interested in going after the Minnesota Timberwolves today, plus four and a half. We do have them winning this game by 2.7 points so uh, a plus 165 value uh, uh, plus 165 bet today for 2.7 value is quite solid uh, 7.2 value on the spread I do really like going after the Minnesota Timberwolves today in Washington against the Wizards uh, Next game, we get the Orlando. Uh, sorry, the New or, uh, New Orleans Pelicans taking on the San Antonio Spurs. Uh, in terms of injuries, uh, Demar Derozan's questionable, Aldridge is questionable, Kelton Johnson and Derek White are out, and so is Rudy Gay. Um, other than that, everybody else should be in. Minus one fifty-five for the Pels. One plus 135 for the Spurs. Three and a half points spread on this one. Over under 231. Pelicans equal over. Uh, Pelicans are a heavy, heavy over team. I will never bet the under in terms of the Pelicans. Because uh, then I don't feel like the line could be low enough for them uh, when betting. 
Uh, so going over on the New Orleans Pelicans game. And then uh, in terms of betting this one, I do like the San Antonio Spurs to win this game by two and a half points. So once again, we get another good underdog. Uh, plus 135, 2.5 value, 6 value on the plus 3.5 spread. Uh, so I like going after the San Antonio Spurs today uh, against the New Orleans Pelicans. Next up, we get the Utah Jazz taking on the Orlando Magic. Aaron Gordon still out, Cole Anthony still out, uh, James Ennis III still out. Other than that, everybody else is starting. Minus 560 for the Jazz, plus 440 for the Magic. Ten and a half point spread on this one. Uh, and for this one, we do... Oh, well, first of all, I want to go under. Uh, Orlando's not a good team. Utah is uh, a good defensive team, so I don't see this one getting over. Um, and then for this one, we're not going to be betting... Uh, aside, we do actually have the Utah Jazz winning this game by 10.5 points. So there is zero value on this game. Uh, so not really going to go after it. Uh, but we do. I do want to go uh, after the under in this one uh, for the Orlando Magic and Utah Jazz game. Three games left. Next up, we get the Indiana Pacers taking on the New York Knicks. Um, Karis LeVert. Robinson, Warren, all the normal suspects are out, as usual. Um, and two, 18 and a half and a, uh, for the over-under. I do like the over in this one. And then this game's actually down to a pick -em. When I was writing this one out, uh, the Knicks were a minus one. Uh, we actually do have the Knicks winning this one by 5.2 points. So I'm going to grab the Knicks. Um, it only gets the value on that one better. It goes from a 4.2 to a 5.2 value bet for me. Uh, going all over on the New York Knicks today against the Indiana Pacers. Next up, we got two games left. Um, Denver Nuggets taking on the Oklahoma City Thunder. A little bit of injuries in this one. Jermichael Green, Diallo, Millsap, Hill, and Ariza, and Harris are all out. Um, so a bunch of injuries to the back he back end of the starters and most of the and mostly bench players, but uh, uh, minus 280 for the Nuggets, plus 235 for the Thunder. Seven points around this one. Over under 221. I'm going under. Um, even though Denver is a high offensive team, Oklahoma City is not. Denver's got a good defense, and uh, this one's probably going to go towards the under in this one. Uh, in terms of betting this one, I'm not really interested. Uh, we have the Denver Nuggets winning this game by 5.4 points. So if we were to pick a side, it would be the Oklahoma City Thunder plus 7. But it would only be a 1.6 value, so we're not going to be interested in going after that one. Uh, it's just one of the three games that we're going to be avoiding today. Not interested in going after the Denver Nuggets and Oklahoma City Thunder game. Final game of the day, we get the Dallas Mavericks taking on the Brooklyn Nets. Uh, minus 176 for the Nets, plus 156 for the Mavs. Four points, but on this one, over, under of 235.5. This one's got to go over. Both these teams are very, very high offensive teams. I definitely believe that this one can go over the uh, 235.5 mark, essentially 116 points a team. Um so definitely taking the over on this one. Kevin Durant still out. Christoph Porzingis is questionable. Uh, other than that, everybody else should be good to go. Um, and for this one, I did like the Dallas Mavericks. Um, we actually have the Mavericks winning this game by 0.1 points. So it creates a 3.6 value. Uh, 0.1 on the money line. If you want to grab that one, that's fine. Um, but we do like the Dallas Mavericks to actually win this game against the Brooklyn Nets. Even though the Brooklyn Nets have been on fire, uh, we're going to try to catch the uh, falling knife and uh, and go against them and pick the Dallas Mavericks today. But uh, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Um, obviously, we're trying to hit 400 subscribers by the end of the month, which is tomorrow. So do that link to all of our socials will be in the description below all the sports that we cover are to our 
uh, it's or to my left or right or whatever in the screen. Um, plus, my brother just did a UFC video for tonight's card. So if you guys are interested in uh, UFC, go ahead and check that out. Uh, that's in our channel. Should just click on uh, videos, and it should be the second one down or third one down after this one. But go ahead and try to, and go ahead and check that one out and get some UFC picks for tonight as well. But that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time, let's make some money.